come to Statesville, we've been here three years and it's been amazing. Yeah. Um, we've noticed just from volunteering and doing some, some work in the community that transportation seemed to be a gap. Um, and it's a business that we've done before that Alonzo's had before. Mm -hmm. And um, we're like, you know, we really, maybe we can do something here. Maybe this is something that we can offer in service to the community. We really want to be a part of this community and trying to figure out how we can do that and how we can serve the community a little bit better. And so that's how No Limit was born, actually. <laughs> yeah. And, and, just, and, and, and just to add to what my wife just said, uh, No Limit, basically uh, for the quality of services that we provide, uh, very exceptional services. Uh, I have tw I have 26 plus years of uh, in the transportation industry. Mm. Um, I've driven uh, anywhere from small vehicles to large vehicles, uh, which uh, actually sets me apart from the rest. Um, we're no we're not like any other ride share companies. Uh, I think with uh, No Limit Enterprises Transportation, basically uh, we like to make our customers feel more welcome. Uh, they get used They get used to us, they know who we are. Mm -hmm. And eventually at some point we would, you know, we would start to grow and uh, hire employees, which means that that would bring more jobs into our community. So I think that's our main objective at this point, you know, to move forward and um, just expand it. So let's go back. <laughs> uh, and and so uh, you're like an Uber service? Uh, no, we're not really like an Uber <laughs> service. We're, okay. not, we're not an Uber. We're not a Lyft. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're what you call an independent, uh, independently owned and operated. Okay. Okay. Private transit. Private transportation, but if you will. It's the same kind of thing. We could call you to. To pick us up and no, we let, let, let me okay. Right, yeah. So let me just explain that, uh, right. Bill. Uh, we're not a taxi cab company. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, we are a company where you could actually call and we set up an appointment. Uh, you once we put you on the calendar and then we sort of uh, go from there. You know. So what kind of what would what will we be calling you for? What kind of, uh, what kind of okay. transportation needs do we do we need? Do okay. We All right. To answer your question. Uh, the transportation need, uh, let's just say if you were, uh, you wanted to go out a uh, night out with the ladies and you want, you guys wanted to go to a venue, mm -hmm. uh, you would call No Limit, you know, and uh, you have, you, we, we would be your designated driver oh, I like as that. you will, <laughs> nice. you know, okay. so that means you can drink as much as you like okay. because you're in safe hands Very and good. we'll get you from point A to point B. All right. Does that answer your question? <laughs> what else? What else would you be able to do? Uh, also, uh, we do airport runs. Oh yes, uh, that's to a and good from, one. That's a good to one. To and from, we do airport runs as well. Um, groups. Groups. We do groups. So if um, there's groups that are in need of transportation to whatever their destination mm -hmm. is, we can we can help fill that in okay. as well. Um, he's. Uh, our daughter went to a school online for the last few years, mm -hmm. and because they're online, typically, you know, the kids that join, they may or may not have transportation mm -hmm. or they may have special transportation needs. And at the end of the year, they have EOGs like mm -hmm. everybody else, but they have to go um, to an on-site location. And some kids don't have transportation. Mm -hmm. So he was able to help in that capacity oh, nice. to get kids to the site so that they can test, test. and do their, their EOGs. And so, um, so we really want to do more of those particular types of services mm -hmm. where there's a need an, an affordable option for people to be there able to go. get where they need to go. I'm looking you up on the, in, <laughs> on the website, so. Mm -hmm. um, That's fantastic. I'll just share an experience I had recently of getting to the airport. Every other time I've driven to the airport, I plan to just go there, park my car, you know, and mm -hmm. just <laughs> get on my plane. Mm -hmm. Well, we got there and the parking decks were closed. Mm -hmm. We needed to go on and find another way to secure parking for mm -hmm. us. And I didn't plan for that in my timing. Yeah. So, <laughs> That's that stressful. Was really, yeah, yeah. it's really a lot. And then you hear about vehicles that are having parts removed while mm -hmm. they're Right so here, yeah. in the parking, yes. in, in, you know, in airport parking lot and stuff. So that makes so much more sense Absolutely. to be able to, and like you said, if you're scheduling it, you can plan to come and pick me up Exactly. As well, right? Yep. So we do the round trip scheduling for that. Yeah. 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 So, uh, are these limousines?
van. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we got right, a, we got got a, a question here. Right. Someone else going to crash your <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to, good, see, good you. to see you too. I have a question for you. What yeah. is your minimum number of passengers and maximum number of passengers? Okay. That's a good question. Yeah, right okay. now, um, I would say we, we have a couple vehicles that we can utilize. So the maximum probably would be around 20 that okay. we can move at one time. Um, with the hopes of as we grow to add on to a suite so that we can provide. What if you just want one person? Yep. As long as you can pay the bill, That's right? It. Okay. <laughs> one, one, all the way. How about you the know, I always tell people if you get mm -hmm. that one percentage, you're doing good. There you go. That's it. How about car seats? Sometimes those can be a little bit of a challenge too because mm -hmm. you got the rear face and forward face and boosters and all that. Can sure. you accommodate those? We can. Yep. Every seat has a seat belt that can that we can pull through the car seat and that's a need. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a cousin that likes to ride in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if we have anything. I don't know if we have a trunk in a van. <laughs> right. well, I guess not. Unless you get an actual trunk. Okay. Well, right. Right. Strap it through the top. Yeah. So right. just yeah. need to get his measurements prior yeah. to right. the adventure. Right. So. Yeah. But he seems to be accommodating for you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Whatever we need. As long as he's seat right. belted Absolutely. in, you know. He's like, like how am I going to put a seat belt in my trunk? Safety first. Safety first. Safety first. Absolutely. If you have rowdy kids, I'm going to put you in the trunk. I don't know. But I don't think that people would like that. Anyway. You wouldn't tell anybody you were doing it. How far will you go? How far? Do you have like mileage too? Is there overnight trips? or? He would do anything inside the state of North Carolina because okay. that's where he's licensed. Mm -hmm. And so right now, it's anywhere in North Carolina. I got you. you know? Yep. We just, obviously the further we go, we would need the more planning. Sure. Obviously. And that's the thing. Yeah. And what, how far are y'all booking out right now? So do you need like week's notice or next week or what you got? We have... Uh, bookings right now into November, actually. We okay. just wow. um, secured a wedding party that mm -hmm. is into November. So we'll go months out because I know people, when you're planning a wedding or you mm -hmm. have you know, activities like that, you want to lock something down yep. and want to make sure you have it. So when you, when you mentioned, what, I didn't mean to crash your show. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're always Sorry, so Billy, slide right. over. Always, well. You know how I am. You let me in the door. <laughs> <I have. laughs> So when I'm envisioning this, you're saying wedding party, my thoughts are this. So you've got relatives that you want to pick up on the way. Can you do that? Can you like make a mini bus route? Well, or? no, what, what we typically, if we, we, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> typically what we refer, what we prefer mm -hmm. is for those, that party to uh, try to have all of their members. Everybody you know, end up at somebody's at house. One and get at one designated okay. area. Cause I, so I didn't know if you just wanted to have the fun and games of pretending you're a school bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before too. I've done that too. I, was, I thought I remembered that too. Cause you've had a variety. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Billy, you ought to ask him how he yeah. got into this. How'd you get into this? You know, I think glad I had you a asked. conversation with yeah, her I just met at the uh, we, luncheon. And, I was, uh, yeah, we, we ran were, into uh, each other. Yeah, we, so basically how, what made me come up with this is that I've been in transportation. You know, I said, well, you know, um, I've been doing it for so long for you know for these different companies that mm -hmm. I've worked for in the mm -hmm. past. Yeah. I said, well, why not do it for myself? Mm -hmm. So that's when I came up with the idea of I can make this money doing this for myself, yeah. even though I'll be spending my own money. But it takes money to make money. There you go. And that's what I always tell people. You know, that's my my concept uh, uh, theory wise is you know you have to invest in order to make money. That's right. Yeah. And you're exactly right. And I, I, again, hats off to, you know, you kind of step out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got to step out in faith. That, Absolutely. You know, you're going where you need to go. And, so, and, and if you scared, Literally, this, he's this going where not, he, you need to go. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's right. You know, and, and I think one of the reasons of, a lot of people are so fearful with, you know, stepping out on faith, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and what happens is, you know, they don't fulfill their dream or the obligation or whatever uh, because to me I feel that we all uh, have potential there you go that's uh, right so uh, as long as you use it and uh, you know and uh, but along with uh, asking God to help you through whatever task mm -hmm. that you may be going through Absolutely. I think it's uh, a great great uh, thing to be uh, remembered as you go through your journey yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. You should have them at leadership to uh, to do a seminar. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because creating your own business is not something you do overnight. It's not. It's, it's not. There's a not lot easy. of it's, pieces it's to it. It's it's it is. It's hard. It really is. And you do have to have a lot of faith. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, spouses that like work with one another. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got to, he would go on this one because I've come from a lifetime of, my husband and I work together too. But, and I have to ask you this too, mm-hmm. does he ever let you drive? He would. Okay. <laughs> All right, just saying. He has before. Okay. Just, you just have yeah. to ask these questions, yeah. you know. What's funny is we met in transportation. Really? And so, really? Um, okay. yeah, I've, I had my chauffeur's license when we actually met, and so... I've done a little bit of transportation and yes. yeah. Yes. So now you drive with your life together. Right. Just to tell you all how we kind of met, you mm-hmm. know, you know, we're from Detroit, Michigan. Mm-hmm. So uh, we met, I was driving at Avis and mm-hmm. I had been driving for Avis for like six years. Mm-hmm. Uh, the shuttle bus to and from the airport. Right. Again, yeah. that goes my experience again. <laughs> you know, right. we reflect yeah, back on airport. that. Yeah. But, but, but it, yeah, just Michigan yeah. Mm-hmm. city. Yeah. So yeah. we met at Avis and she was the manager. She was my manager. <laughs> oh, she was, a, she was what you <laughs> called a shift manager. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, I, uh, like I said, I had been there like about six years. And mm-hmm. then I said prior to that, you know, I, I started another transportation business, which was called Safe Hands Transportation, mm-hmm. you know, in Michigan. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, it's been good. Mm-hmm. Life's funny though, because we talk about, yeah. well, you've probably seen a few forks in the road in your line of business. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to say, it's been too many weeks since I've been on the air with Billy. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm using them all right now. Yeah. So, but literally though, when you go through these journeys, you never quite know whose life you're going to impact. And I bet as you do this, you're going to help people in ways you didn't even know you were going to do. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and that's a big part of your goal, I believe, with this, it this role. It is. is in, yeah. so, I got to turn the camera just so everybody knows. Oh, oh, good. Oh. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get all of us in there. And I'm just crashing so apart. You, I love right. it. I love it. Is, uh, well, obviously, you, you to, to have your license to drive a passenger van or a chauffeur license or whatever, mm-hmm. you've got to uh, you got to pass all the tests. and uh, CDL. I have a CDL yeah. license. So oh, I CDL. think okay. down here in North well, Carolina, you have that she was asking about how many you have, and so there's a lot of hazardous people that she deals with. So, <laughs> having a CD, do you have your hazmat that goes along with it? I, I don't have oh, that. Those, are, those are what you call endorsements. Are you thinking I'm toxic, okay. Billy? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I, I don't think I would need the, the endorsement, the hazmat, because I wouldn't be dealing with any type of. You're like, why would I need a hazmat? Toxic uh, relationships? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, uh, uh, but you also have to be uh, a people person. You do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. To deal with people, whoever yeah. you got right. in the in the back, mm-hmm. you know, whatever kind of attitude they've got he going keeps on. Looking in my direction. All, <laughs> all different personalities. Yeah. Right. yeah, absolutely. And so you you're you're friendly and nice, and the customer's always right until. They're not. Yes, <laughs> and then they're still right. <laughs> so uh, that, that is that is absolutely fantastic. So how do we get in touch with you? What's the, what's the way we can book an appointment? We have our business, uh, our business number. We have um, email address. Right now we are getting ready to launch our social media site. So we're working okay. on that. So we'll be on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn. and LinkedIn. Yeah. So what's your phone number? It is. 980-362-8229. And the, what, what's another way to reach you? Email? Email? Email. Yep. Not bound by limits. Wow. At gmail.com. And the name of the company one more time? No Limit Enterprises Transportation. It's a nice van sitting out there, too. I just drove right by a minute. <laughs> I, know. I think that, yeah, go say that's who I just met the other day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I got a, uh, I got, well, I got the picture and, and the phone number of on yeah. LinkedIn, it's that's on it. LinkedIn, that mm-hmm. is. and there's Alonzo right there. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. They also have a listing on the Chamber directory. That's right. So if you ah. go to the Chamber website, you can search for them on our website as well. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, all the best. Thank you well, all thank so you. much for having us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, it is fantastic. And. Sorry for, uh, uh, you know, Melissa interrupting, but that's okay. <laughs> it was great. The door was unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll, right? No, Melissa asked the question. Great question. Yeah, she's yeah. Okay. She's that way. She's, you know she's the 
County Commission. She's the chairman of the County Commission. Yeah, we had a chance to, to hear she her got, talk yeah, at the luncheon. Got, yeah, it was great. Shannon had uh, Manager Mole and I. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did. We met. So Manager Mole and I did the lunch and learn with the chamber. Mm -hmm. Was that just last week? It was just last week. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's Tuesday. Uh, been busy. <laughs> I know. It was Tuesday. Uh, I'm lying by the I know. It's fine. Look, Chamber, we just roll all the way. <laughs> One big long day. <laughs> all right, well, you two, thank you so much. Thank and, you all uh, so much. Anytime.